Well, welcome back DIY car guys and car girls. My last video, we put the extended travel ball joints on this guy. It did give it a lot more travel, but now we need to control how fast it comes up. Because it was coming up too fast before, upsetting the uh, traction on the truck and all that other good stuff. Uh, the back I've already set to extra firm. When I took the helper leafs out, it did lower it down. And it had a little bit of rake then, but now it's when I put the extended travel ball joints, it did lower the front a little more. So we're going to stiffen up the front, pull those three-way adjustables out, and then hopefully it'll hook up better. So that's what we're doing today. So in my last video, the wind was blowing so bad and I uh, damaged my really nice lens. So today we're using this guy, my old school OG YouTube camera. Check it out. Tell me if it's not happy to be on camera. Yeah, buddy. Super zoom. Oh, I get to be on YouTube? Yeah. Swing. Yes, guys. I realized that I ain't right in the head. Anyways, let's get back to this guy. All right, so check out all this travel. Okay, the tires are barely off the ground. That's yeah, cray cray. Travel for days, son. Let's go on a trip. All right, for the sake of the video, I guess we'll start on this side. Now, hopefully I can get this thing high enough that I can get the shock out. We'll see. I haven't done this off a jack. I mean, I'm on the ground like this. Last time I put them in, we had them on a lift, so. I don't know. I've never done it. Hold on. Let's see this first. Let's get the ratcheting side on first. Make sure we got it going the right way. All right. So it's turning the top of it. See that? So then we got to put this guy on right here somehow to keep it from turning without hitting them threads. All right. I hope that's enough. This is the only pain the butt part about this is this guy right here. Stay. Let me get it from up top. Yay! We got it off. That only took a gazillion years. Alright, let's get all this bushing stuff off. Still looks good. Okay, so there's only two more bolts to hold this guy in. And they're right here. Uh-oh. Make sure we get that all the way on. Man. It's stuck in there now. Come on, son of a gun. There we go. That's one. And two. Ha, ha, ha. All right, now hopefully it's enough space to pull this whole guy out of here. And hey, hey, there is, yes, we out. All right, guys, so I'm going to be quite honest. This is super hard to figure out where it is uh, in the clicks. And it'll definitely go on this way. You're going to go uh, counterclockwise. I didn't read the instructions, but going the other way, it just turns and turns and turns. So it's got to be this way. You can feel more clicks going this direction. So um, when it came out, it was definitely on the loosest setting, and now it's on this setting. You're supposed to pull this in and out like 10 times, so if you're going to bleed it, Make sure you're on the loose setting. Let's try to find the loose setting real quick. I think the loose setting is usually after this one. It gets hard to turn at one point. There's a click. Oh, 
That's a loose. Yeah, that, not, that has to be regular. That's how it was when it came out. Super loose. Let's do our best to find the next click. That little click, let's see. That's the same. Right. So just keep on going in small turns. It has to be all the way down when it clicks, though. There's another click. That feels, maybe that, that must be firm. Let me see. That yeah, feels a little tighter, maybe. Let's try the next one. Okay, there's a, a definite, you didn't hear it, but it's definitely in there. Okay, that must be firm, or extra firm. Woo, load it. Load up, must say. Maybe. That's what we should put this guy on. Yeah, maybe we should put it on this one. To control how fast it comes up. Well, let's go around one more click just to be sure. There's another click. That feels that feels firm. See, so it goes regular firm, extra firm, or maybe it goes extra firm, regular firm. I don't know. I'm just going by feel. Down, it's going to be pretty much the same. You want to feel it how it comes up on the front shocks. How much it's going to pull that guy up. That feels pretty firm. Does it feel any firmer than the other one? I can't tell you. All right, so we're all the way down. Let's try to hear another click. This is where it gets tight again. So at one point it gets tight. And that is definitely regular. So it goes regular on the on the hard click. And let's go. The definite click right there. That must be firm. It feels like extra firm to me, son. Go again. This is definitely click. Yeah, does it feel more or less? I can't tell you. Definitely stiffer than it was before, that's all I can say. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go for the firmest one, because I can confirm that pretty good. There's another one. So it clicked again, but I can't tell you. Well, no, no, that actually is firmer. That is firm. That must be extra firm. So, if we're going in that kind of style direction, let's go back to regular. It should get. See what this is. See, that still feels tight. So, it gets tight right there, hard to turn. Can I turn my hand? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, that was a loud click, and that should be easy. Yes. Okay, so that's regular. All the way down. That was still a loud click. I guess when you come up and you come back down, it recenters it. So you want to confirm that you're. Yeah. That should be firm. Okay, that's firm. All right, let's just put it on firm then, since we know how to get the firm. We'll try extra firm some other time. We are definitely, yeah, that's firm. So we're definitely tighter than it was before. For sure. All right, so that's firm. Good God. All right, so both sides have been set up as close as possible, at least how I can tell. So I guess the only thing that's left is to uh, put her down and take her for a ride. So if you look right here, see how the uh, tire looks like it's pigeon-toed? It really is. Like, both of them are kind of in like this. Um, when I first installed the ball joints, I put it down. I was like, crap, my geometry is all screwed up. But it's really not that. The, uh, the control arm swings so much now that when it comes up, they come in. And when you put it down, the tire grips so hard. So it kind of puts all that unwanted stress on 
the spindle right there. So what you want to do when you put it down, make sure you roll it backwards and forwards so that tire can recenter and get all that load off the uh, spindle right there because you don't want it to sit like that for a long period of time. So watch, I'll start it up and move it and you'll see this guy will just straighten on out. Actually, I'm just going to put it in reverse and back up and watch it. You'll see it'll straighten out. See? Right back where it needs to be. So if you freak out and think that the geometry is all screwed up and you're going to tear up your, your spindles and bearings, uh, just uh, remember to back it up. Don't let it sit that way. That's the only thing that I saw about this that uh, is probably no one really talked about, but just make sure you do that. Well, okay, so I think we're set up pretty good as a starting point for right now to go to the track. But we still need to put in this guy right here, the uh, 430 ring and pinion. And of course, we need to put the cage in so that I am safe. But I do think we're at a good starting point. So all that will be in my next video. Keep on wrenching and peace.